As you've probably heard, the long-awaited Tesla Semi is finally out, and there's been a lot of comments about it, as this is one news Tesla investors have been waiting for for a long time. One such comment is from Mercedes, which claims that the Tesla Semi is fake and works against the laws of physics. Could that be true? Or is the Tesla Semi doing the impossible? Hey guys, welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. The Tesla Semi was announced in 2017, with an initial 2019 release target. At the time, the company set a target release date of 2019. However, bringing this concept to life took longer than expected. And as is often the case with Tesla, the Semi was then delayed until late this year. After numerous setbacks in the Tesla Semi program, the long-distance test run objective was finally achieved. The vehicle was released by Tesla on the 1st of December. A delivery has begun with companies like PepsiCo and UPS, who have ordered a hundred or more. And these are all companies where the lower complexity of electric vehicles and Tesla's autonomous driving features are going to make hauling goods across the country even more safe and efficient. This marks an important milestone for electric vehicles. And this is an important milestone for makers of electric vehicles, like Nikola, Mercedes, Volvo and Daimler, which have yet to achieve similar long-range targets that Tesla Semi is built with. The 500-mile range Tesla Semi is for the more expensive $180,000 model, while the standard Tesla Semi, which sells for $150,000, has got a range of 300 miles. However, while this is huge for the automaker, there are several comments that the Tesla Semi may be too good to be true. According to Mercedes, the vehicle defies the laws of physics, and so will be difficult to achieve. This was before Musk disclosed that the Semi program completed a 500 mile test drive with a total weight of 81,000 pounds. Likewise, back in 2018, Daimler's head of trucks, Martin Daum, said the same thing. Daimler has also brought several of its own battery electric trucks to market, but none of them have got a range even close to 500 miles. Why is the Tesla Semi different? Let's find out, and you better watch until the end of this video to get all the details. But before we do get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. When Musk announced the Tesla Semi in 2017, he compared it to current Semi trucks on the road today, and to a $2 million supercar, the Bugatti Chiron. According to Musk, Tesla's plan is to make a vehicle that feels incredible and accelerates like nothing else. This Tesla Semi is able to reach 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds without a load. It can also reach 60 miles per hour fully loaded with a maximum 80,000 pounds gross vehicle weight in 20 seconds. Aside from that impressive speed and acceleration, it's also got great range. The Semi's got a 500 mile range and maximum gross vehicle weight and highway speeds. The number is significant because 80% of trucking routes are 250 miles or less. According to Musk, the performance and range is due to the vehicle's design. Although Tesla's Semi now has three independent motors instead of the initial four, this doesn't seem to have slowed it down. No doubt, while the Tesla Semi was in development, other electric vehicles, fully electric vehicles at that, had launched into the market. These heavy-duty vehicles were showing that it was only a matter of time before this vehicle starts recording significant demands. It is even more interesting seeing that there's been a lot of criticism about the Tesla Semi. In 2020, the former world's richest man Bill Gates made some rather discouraging comments about the truck. In a blog, he argued that all electric semi-trucks like the Tesla Semis would probably never work because their batteries would be too heavy. He said, the problem is that batteries are big and heavy. The more weight you're trying to move, the more batteries you need to power the vehicle. But with more batteries you use, the more weight you add and the more power you need. Even with big breakthroughs in battery tech, electric vehicles will probably never be a practical solution for things like 18-wheelers, cargo ships and passenger jets. Electricity works when you need to cover a short distance, but we need a different solution for heavy long-haul vehicles. This was around the time when Tesla first said that the vehicle would come to production, and three years after that prototype was unveiled. But Tesla has proven to be the best at what it does. Also, Tesla plans to build a mega charger facility for its truck. According to the company, mega chargers are going to be laid out for its trucks, and these are going to deliver far more power to these huge batteries. They'll also typically encompass large battery arrays to store renewable power for later use, further bringing down the operational cost of the semi. The Tesla mega chargers are a new kind of charging depot with more space, more voltage, and more battery storage to charge bigger batteries in the trucks. And this is going to be done renewably while cushioning the load on the local power grid. While prototype semis have been seen charging at superchargers by connecting several charging cables to the truck at once, 
this is going to change pretty soon. Musk has stated that Mega Chargers are going to be able to deliver a megawatt of power, that's four times what the current ones can do. But this makes sense given the truck's presumed battery capacity. One major difference between Tesla's Class A offerings and other heavy-duty trucks is the location of the steering wheel and the driver's seat. Rather than putting it on the left or the right, in Europe, Tesla's design of the Semi with the steering wheel in the center of the cab and touchscreens positioned around both sides of the driver is pretty unique. Aside from the Semi truck, there's also incredible vehicles in the works for Tesla. Tesla stock investor Ross Gerber recently disclosed that the simplest way to get Tesla stock to double is to produce the Cybertruck. Gerber stated that it's going to be a game changer next year adding that with this, no dividends or buybacks will be necessary. In July, Musk revealed that production of his futuristic truck would start in mid-2023 at the Tesla factory in Austin. Musk said that Tesla is hoping to start production of these cars in the middle of next year, with the first units ready for service and delivered to owners beginning around June or July. In recent news as well, Musk unveiled some new features about the Cybertruck. According to him, it's going to be waterproof enough to briefly serve as a boat. It can cross rivers, lakes, and even seas that aren't too choppy. In addition to the Cybertruck, new versions of the supercar Roadster are also in the works. Aside from the Tesla Semi-Truck and Cybertruck, they could also manage to manufacture even better cars in the coming years. The car company already plans to manufacture a low-priced EV, which will cost less than the Model 3. Musk had previously announced that Tesla's engineering team had turned its focus on a next-generation car platform that will be half the price of the 3 and Y. The automaker is going to be talking about a next-generation platform that will enable a $25,000 electric car. It's going to be highly achievable if inflation claims and the automaker are able to ramp up production across its factories. With Tesla trucks in the market and judging by the expected increase in their demand, Tesla is sure to increase its revenue by a high percentage. The EV industry is expanding and Tesla is taking advantage of a large percentage of this figure, not only in terms of market shares but also in terms of profitability. Tesla had previously confirmed that its cars cost about $36,000 to make on average in parts and assembly while it sells for about $10,000 or more. This profit margin makes Tesla the world's most successful automaker in that respect. For Tesla, the Semi is going to help them achieve their mission of pushing sustainable energy, and Musk has said that he wants to combat this by putting 50,000 Semis on the road in North America. According to him, Class 8 trucks make up just 1% of all vehicles in the US, and they contribute to 20% of the US vehicle emissions, the 36% of US vehicle particulate matter. So if the Tesla Semi is one way for the car company, to further improve sustainable energy, then the vehicle may just be a starting period of increased growth and demand. What do you think about the semi-truck? Do you think that the vehicle can top all the markets, just like all the other Tesla cars? Let us know down below, and don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to in the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there!